Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It has been a while and I do apologize for that. I am finally past my exam, the CHT test. I took it about two weeks ago. Um, we don't know the results yet because it takes about six to eight weeks. So I've been really enjoying my time, not studying. Finally, I did not realize how much time there is in a day until after I finished <laughs> with that test. Um, so more to come about that. It was really hard. Um, I have no idea, honestly, how I did. I know that I worked my absolute hardest and that's all I can do and hope for the best. Um, yeah, so just trying to unwind, relax, get back into the normal routine of my life and have a little bit of balance has been so good. Uh, today, to get back into the um, swing of things and get back into YouTube and everything like that, um, I thought it would be really fun to make a frequently asked questions video. Um, so as a hand therapist, I get certain questions asked of me a lot and so I thought it would be fun to just answer all of those here today. So yeah, it's also already halfway through no November. Blah, blah. I need more coffee apparently. Halfway through November, that's crazy. There's something like 45 or 50 days left of 2019, which is just insane. Um, but yeah, here we go. So first things first, what even is a hand therapist? A hand therapist is someone who is either a physical or an occupational therapist um, that specializes in treatment of the upper extremity, meaning shoulders, elbows, wrist, hand. Um, it is somebody who uh, goes into a practice setting, whether it be hospital, um, private, outpatient, um, a lot of times it's outpatient clinics, um, but they are only treating patients with conditions involving the shoulder, elbow, the wrist, and the hand. And what is a certified hand therapist? So a certified hand therapist um, is somebody who holds the certified hand therapist title. It is a completely voluntary title. You do not ever, ever have to get it um, as of right now to be able to practice in hand therapy, um, but it is somebody who has chosen to elevate their knowledge and um, continue to strive and really specialize in the field. Um, so a certified hand therapist is somebody who has gone through the rigor um, and the number of years of experience that it takes to pass the certified hand therapy exam, which is an extremely difficult exam. Um, usually it has about 50 to 60% pass rate on average, uh, meaning that very few people are able to pass it each time that the test is offered. You have to be a hand therapist for at least three years. Um, or an occupational or a physical therapist for at least three years and you have to have accrued at least 4,000 hours practicing in hand therapy working with patients um, with upper extremity conditions so basically it is completely voluntary um, but it is an important in my opinion an important part of the field um, it means that you have chosen to become a really knowledgeable professional and you're not just somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. So um, not that all hand therapists are not knowledgeable because we are. There's a lot of really great hand therapists that don't have the CHT designation. Um, but a CHT has had to really um, work very hard to gain the knowledge that they have. So they're just a little bit more specialized and so you're just recognized for knowing more information. This is a really bad explanation, but does that kind of make sense? The different levels. So any person, any PT or OT can be a hand therapist, um, but a certified hand therapist is just acknowledging that you are a specialist in the field. Yeah. Another question that I have patients ask me a lot is, do your hands hurt at the end of the day? Um, so yes, as hand therapists, we typically do spend a decent amount of time on manual treatment, which uh, it consists of different types of massage, um, trigger point release, myofascial release, um, instrument assisted types of, you know, tissue mobilization. Um, and so we're using our hands a lot, a lot. We're doing joint mobilizations, we're stretching things, um, we're lifting people's arms, uh, a lot of, you know, 
using the hands um, and arms and so yes of course it is definitely a repetitive job and depending on your productivity levels and your patient caseload um, there are a lot of different ways that you can get injured and it is common of course like any type of repetitive job where you're using your hands um, throughout the day a lot uh, it's easy to get repetitive strain conditions if you don't use your body mechanics the correct way right um, so I actually my first six months that I worked as a hand therapist, I actually developed um, tennis elbow um, on my right, my dominant side, uh, because I was just using that wrist incorrectly a lot while I worked and doing a lot of gripping um, and things that, you know, could have easily been prevented. Um, it's really, it's fine now. It took like a year and a half for it to heal because I wasn't good about doing my stretches and exercises and stuff like that, but... Um, but yeah, it is easy if you're not using your body mechanics properly and you're not doing um, very good ergonomics. Basically, all the things that you preach to your patients, you should also practice in your job as a hand therapist. Um, so, uh, you know, it may look like I'm doing a lot with my hands, but I'm actually using more like the pressure of my shoulders and my um upper body, my trunk, my core. Um, I have really worked on building up my shoulders and my back muscles so that I have really good scapular um, positioning and, and posture and things like that so that as I'm doing what I'm doing, I'm not uh, overusing my wrists and hands as much as I could be. So yes, yeah, sometimes of course we all have pain. Uh, sometimes by the end of the week, you know, my basal joint's killing me or I don't know my fingers are hurting or aching or whatever but it's like any kind of job right like anywhere has risk if you don't use your hands properly and you don't take care of your body so a lot of stretching taking breaks switching up tasks all those kinds of things that that you would preach to your patients are helpful as a hand therapist so it's not a daily issue for me right now so hopefully it isn't in the future either so, uh, you know, being a hand therapist must mean you're good with your hands, huh? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Ugh, you guys, I used to get that question all the time uh, back when I was using dating apps or even um, just trying to meet new friends. Like, that is always the worst pickup line. It just drives me absolutely insane when people say that. Um, biggest eye roll ever. So yeah, if you ever meet a hand therapist on a dating website, please do not send them that pickup line. You will not do well. Did you go to school to do this job? Um, yes, of course. Uh, somebody with, you know, working in a rehabilitative type of setting should have gone to school for it for at least some amount of time. So both physical therapists and occupational therapists can be hand therapists. For a physical therapist, which I am not, you have to um, complete a bachelor's degree and then also go for a doctorate degree. Sorry, you guys, there's this like crazy bird that is making so much sound right now and I hope the audio is not terrible. But anyway, physical therapists have to have a doctorate degree um, before they're able to practice as a physical therapist. Occupational therapists, which I am, have completed a bachelor's degree and also a master's degree at least. So right now um, in the USA, a master's degree is required for occupational therapists, but there are programs that also have doctorates. Um, so it can be either or. Um, there's of course, you know, there's been some grandfathering in over the years. So I don't know exactly when the switch happened, but there are practitioners out there that have bachelor's degrees because when they went to school it was only a bachelor's degree required field and so they also are practicing and they are also excellent clinicians. How can I get into the field of hand therapy? Um, I've heard this question a lot from people who are physical or occupational therapists that um, have worked in other settings and they're trying to get into hand therapy or you've just graduated from school and you're trying to get into hand therapy because that's your career of interest or your field of interest. Um, and I, I just, I don't think there's really one exact path to follow. I think everybody is different. Um, for me, I graduated school and um, I held out for a few months before I was able to find a job in hand therapy. Um, it's not 
easy to get in. It takes timing, it takes luck, um, and it takes passion as well. Uh, and then you have to find, you know, a clinic that's willing to work with a new grad that doesn't necessarily, you know, they're going to need a lot of training and kind of experience in the field. Um, whoa, we almost lost my phone. Um, but there's no right one way. Um, for me, I didn't want to just take a job and settle on something else because I knew that this is where I wanted to go. Um, and so I was fortunate enough to find a company who wanted to train new therapists um, because they already have a few older experienced therapists and they wanted um, people who would be kind of moldable or kind of learn what this specific physician wanted. Um, and so that worked out really well for me, but it's not the only way to get into it. Um, I think it's really important to demonstrate your passion for the field, um, even if it's just volunteering or trying to reach out and find um, CHTs in your area that you know are willing to take on a volunteer even or um, somebody part-time or something or even just doing a little bit of mentorship even if you can't quite find a clinic at the time to get into reach out on Facebook um, through ASHT's website um, HTCC I think also maybe has some links where you can potentially find some hand therapy colleagues to kind of chat with and um, try and volunteer um, you know, just get some time in the clinic as much as you can. Um, I think it does help if you're flexible. Like, it is not an easy field to get into if you don't have experience. And so, for me, I had to move to do it. Like, there weren't any opportunities in Colorado in my hometown at the time. And so, I moved to California to do this job. Um, I know that not everybody has that as an option, and that's okay too. You just might have to be more flexible with what type of setting that you want to be in. Um, even some hospitals sometimes uh, will have like even part-time work for hand therapy. So just keep looking, um, try and find people through Facebook or um, other, you know, even online sources that you can reach out to and chat with and um, maybe try and start like a hand therapy study group or something like that where you can kind of meet with people and talk about it and. I would say also take it upon yourself, do the work, learn about hand therapy on your own, um, read books, um, get rehab of the hand. Uh, Cynthia Cooper, Fundamentals of Hand Therapy is another really good resource um, that you can learn from and just try to gain as much knowledge as you can so that when you are given the opportunity, you can prove your worth and you can prove that you are a valuable asset and that you will succeed. I honestly believe that hand therapy is not a field of OT or PT where you can just go in and do your work and then go home at the end of the day. Um, and I guess it is, but you just, you always need to be learning. Things are changing all the time and to do the best by your patients and um, really learn the intricacies and the complex nature of hand therapy. It's so, so super important to be committed to the field. Um, and so, and you can tell when people are and when they aren't. I've worked with people in the past or I've um, come across, you know, hand therapists in the past who unfortunately didn't have that passion and they didn't have the drive to do this job and they, it's, it's not an easy field to be in. Um, you have to really push yourself. Nobody is necessarily there to teach you, so you really have to go, go about it on your own at times and find continuing ed education classes and read books and articles and be learning all the time and be open to that all the time. So I know it's tough to get into and it can be frustrating. Um, take your time, be patient, uh, try and learn as best as you can on your own and stick, stick with it because if you were really passionate about this field, it's so, so worth the wait to get into it. Okay, so uh, after all of that rambling goodness, um, I think we'll go ahead and wrap things up there for today. If you guys have any other questions um, about hand therapy or about hand injuries or anything that you would want to know about what it's like to be a hand therapist, um, any questions that you have for me, feel free to comment below. Um, 
super excited to get back into this channel and I am committed to making at least two videos a month so stay tuned for that. Um, got some really cool content that I am excited about making and sharing with all of you. So thank you for your continued support and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching.